In today's Madden 21 tip, we're going to be giving you a quick tip that's going to help your user defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel, my entire goal here is just to help you guys become better Madden players. I post four times a day here on YouTube videos that are designed to give you something to think about, something to do, some type of tangible tactic, tip, or concept that you can apply into your game to help you win more games in Madden 21. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and click subscribe. Also, you know, I know that you may have already purchased some ebooks in the past, but I have written a full comprehensive Madden 21 competitor's guide that literally covers the entire Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and the entire 46 uh, defensive playbook covering ranging from be a good nickel over G to nickel three three five to four six bear, bear under, normal, speed package, as well as three four bear. All of the meta and then some, this guide is really, really, really good. So I want to encourage you to pick that up down in the description. All right, so let's talk about this. So um, I have had uh, some questions about user control. Uh, people have been letting me know. They're like, you know, Cody, the, the user is difficult. It's different. It's not as easy as it was last year. 100% true. 100% uh, true. And in today's video, I'm going to give you just a quick, quick thing that I think is going to help you. So literally, there's not, I'm not going to do anything in the coaching adjustments um, other than what I would normally do. You can see these right here. But this is my basic, you know, in a nutshell, what I do. But what you want to do is you can come out and nickel through the five. It doesn't matter. It, it literally doesn't matter. The one thing I would recommend is if when you're wanting to improve your user, um, there's one key statistic I want you to consider, um, as you are choosing a user in Madden Ultimate Team. Okay. So if you're playing Mutt, it's a lot easier than if you're playing head to head, in my opinion, to get this, this rating right here, change of direction. This is the rating that makes the most impact. So Miles Bryant has 92 change of direction, 86 speed. I'd actually consider using him. You want to use or somebody that has over 90 change of direction. Now, some, some guys, uh, like you see here, Jonathan Jones is 89. Uh, Jaquan, uh, or Jojuan, however you say the name, uh, Williams has 87. But I'm just going to, I'm going to roll with, um, if, and if you can't get 90 plus change of direction, just get 90 plus speed. Um, it's not that huge. Of, it's really not that big of a deal. But you're going to, I mean, it is a big deal. Um, but in regs, you know, you, you gotta got to play with what you get. So anyway, um, so what you'll see here is, I have Bryant, and he's going to be in a deep blue zone. I'm just going to come down here and use her and just kind of do my standard thing and just watch his movements, right? I'm just going to try to cover as many routes as I can, and there's a couple tips I'm going to give you. The first and foremost thing is you see that he's kind of um, – it feels laggy. It feels sluggish. It feels slow. It feels like I can't quite – I just can't quite get there, right? And we've all been there. Now what I'm going to do is give you two tips, two tips that are going to help you. The first tip that I'm going to help tell you is to put him in a blitz. Okay, put him in a blitz. By putting him in a blitz, watch what happens at the snap of the ball. You get instant control. He doesn't take a step back at all, and now you see he actually cuts a lot better. The second tip that I'm going to give you is to not, and this is going to be very, this has honestly been the hardest adjustment for me in Madden 21 um, on defense to do this. One thing I'm about to tell you. When you are using your player, do not hold turbo until they actually throw you the ball. Do not hold turbo until they actually throw the ball and you're closing on a route. Let me show you what I mean. I'm not going to hold turbo. Watch. Watch how fast. See how fast he's going? See how fast he's going? That 90 change of direction, he's able to turn on a dime. Now watch, watch what happens. This is going to be, a, I'm going to hold turbo throughout the entirety of the play. Watch this. So he's, he's slower, literally slower, like by a, by a long shot. Like he's, he is significantly sh slower when you hold turbo. Very weird, right? Shouldn't be that way, but a hundred percent is that way. Right. Um, you know, he just really like, it's just, it's just not, it's just not a good look. I'm just telling you, it's not a good look. If you stop holding turbo, my my guess is you're going to figure out within the first game or two of doing this how much better this is going to improve your user. So literally, I'm not going to hold turbo. The only button I hold now is left trigger. 
like and I and I'll hold left trigger whenever I want to kind of strafe him and turn around um or I want to kind of maybe like jab a little bit or whatever but I really don't hold turbo anymore especially in the pass game sometimes I'll hold it in the run game um now now what I'm going to do here is just throw like watch this watch this watch it see how not holding turbo and he can close on that if I'm holding turbo he can't make that play I'm just telling you if I'm holding turbo he cannot make that play now I want to show you real quickly what's different um What's, what if I use Phillips, right? So Phillips, you'll see here, he doesn't have nine to change of direction. He is a lot more sluggish. You see it takes him a little bit to get going. When you're not using somebody that has 90 or above change of direction, that's going to happen. It's going to happen very consistently. So what you want to do is when you want to change direction, you want to click left trigger right before you change direction. So like if I'm running to the left, what you'll see is I will run to the left, quick left trigger and then go right quick left trigger then go left that little click of the left trigger allows him to kind of regain focus right but these three power tips are really going to help your user in this game um usering's not easy this year i'll be the first to admit it but you put your player in a blitz you don't hold turbo and you use the left trigger more than you think you probably should you'll find a lot of success with usering and you'll get picks and you'll get stops and you'll get swats more than you realize um also real quick let me just show you one thing um that you might not know when they um when you click onto a player like if i click onto this corner right here watch i'm not holding turbo he still gets in a good position you don't have to hold turbo this year this is a misnomer you literally you literally don't need turbo turbo in the in madden 21 see he's actually slower when you hit turbo that's what's crazy to me and i am just i am just very I'm, I am very uh, much a believer that he is. Like if I hold turbo, you see it literally, it's sluggish. The game becomes very sluggish. If you don't hold turbo, you'll find that the game starts to become much, much more smooth. You only hold turbo in the right situations and you'll be able to lock in. So anyways, guys, those are some quick tips on user control. Let me know what you thought. Again, I do really want to encourage you if you really want to take your Madden game to the next level one of the ways that I've done that a lot of you have asked for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions I'm excited to announce that I now have that uh, in my repertoire here on YouTube and so if you would like to schedule a personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching session those are available in the description you can get those you can schedule those with me and we can dive a lot more into detail about how to take your user game to the next level because i've learned a lot over the years um it's not just madden 21 this isn't my first rodeo i've been playing madden pr pretty pretty uh competitively pretty high level since madden 12 and i feel like i've learned some stuff uh, about user control, about user um, user ability. And so, you know, it's not just that. We can tailor that coaching session to whatever it is you want to talk about, whatever it is you want to learn the most. But I guarantee you, you will walk away from that one-hour coaching session with a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of information, but not just head knowledge, information that you can apply to your game instantly to make you more successful as a Madden player, to let you win against your friends, win your money games, all that stuff. I am just really, really uh, encouraged by our first couple coaching sessions that we've had here on the channel. Guys have walked away with really, really, really good uh, material that has really helped them improve and play better. So thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. I've got two more videos coming on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't so you can catch those. Turn that little bell notification icon on your way out. Catch one of these next couple videos that I've got coming on screen. And if anything, guys, we stream every night at 10 o'clock Eastern time on the channel. So be sure to come by and say hello.